In the Gospel passage for today, the 15th Sunday of Pentecost, the 1st of September, 2024, we hear the story of Jesus and the Pharisees and Jesus going back and forth and they're questioning Jesus, why don't your followers wash your hands in the way that they're supposed to before they eat? Good question. Something our mothers have taught us and it was important as far as cleanliness for it, as far as the food goes and, and taking care of that we um, don't contaminate food. And, but we've just had for the last five Sundays uh, passages where Jesus talks about, I'm the bread of life, um, um, eat my body, drink my blood, um, and on and on about the importance of this um, aspect of eating. And now this week, Jesus replies to the Pharisees saying, Oh, you hypocrites, you're so worried about what goes in, but it's really what comes out. Um, deceitfulness and lying and treachery, adultery, things that come out of the heart, the longings of our heart that come out, that that really is what is the problem. And it's kind of like, okay, you talk about the importance of eating and, and what we eat, and now you're talking about saying that that doesn't matter. It's what comes out. Now, I remember somebody one time telling me, pointing out that um, I sometimes seem to contradict myself. One Sunday I'll talk about the importance of, of faith and it's faith that saves us and the next Sunday I talk about works and you've got to have some works to, to prove things. And, and every Sunday in a way and every little reflection I give gives a piece of things. There's always more to it in any relationship, in any journey there are many facets, many different experiences. But it is important what we take in as what we, as we've heard the last five weeks and what we take in, especially in our prayers and in our soul and in our body too. If we eat only crappy food and preservatives and lots of um, high fat or fried food and highly processed food with a lot of chemicals, we do damage to ourselves. And, and this is becoming very well known and we're seeing the results of it. Likewise, what we take in, that we need to take time to pray, we need to take time to be still, we need to be, take time to nourish our souls to address issues of anger, isolation, fear, depression, and really address that and bring that before God. Even our desires, our longings, our expectation. And this gets back to the to kind of the cultural thing of, of praying for something but not do, doing anything about it. If we pray, if we read scripture, if we come to know Jesus, our lives will change. It will have an effect. If it doesn't, then we never arrived. We're not really, we don't know Jesus. We don't know what we're doing. It, if somebody says they fall in love with somebody but they never call, they never show up, they don't, it, it doesn't change their life, it doesn't, they're not, they don't spend time together. You wonder, did they really fall in love? Relationship with Jesus demands ourselves, our souls, and what comes out really is the telltale sign of, of what happens. If I really am praying, am I really one with God, I will find that I can be changed. I can look at my journey, what's happening in my life, in a way that is somewhat detached so that I can, because my focus is on God. And from that, things can change, things can be transformed. I can let go of the, the self-desires all the time and, and really see the common good. Sometimes be surprised and find that attitudes and ideas or political perspectives might change and it might be me that needs to change. But when I'm so set in my ways and want, wanting to look out for my own needs and concerns, and I miss something. What comes out of us? Are we just holding on to ourselves, our wounds, our hurts, our desires, our, our needs? Or are we finding that our needs have been held by God, transformed by God.
What comes out of us is important. It is the litmus test. Am I getting mad at everybody around me or when things become inconvenient do I spark up and start yelling at the sun or sky or car or whatever? Or do I find myself being transformed and stopping and saying, I need to think about this. I need to be transformed. The grace of God can be seen in what comes out of us. Whether we are, in fact, taking God into our very soul, being transformed by his life. Really walking with Jesus, we'll find ourselves walking in places that we might not have expected. The power of God is waiting for you. The, the love of God is expecting you. And God is, is reaching out. Are we simply reaching out to God to tell God what to do and, and how God should behave? Or are we open to hear and listen in our prayers and our lives? For what comes out of us will tell what is the source of, of our very being. Let us be changed and transformed. Let us pray and let those prayers move and make our life one with God. May you find your lives blessed this day and all those whom you love, the wide range of those who you might not expect to love, but God brings into your heart. Let us pray. Blessings to you. Amen.